Hi my dear parents and students. In these series of episodes, I am going to present some of the career options you may want to consider which are going to be very relevant in the years to come. A lot of changes are taking place in the society. People want different products, people want different services. People have very limited time, they want to achieve a lot of things. People want information about anything and everything. And so how are we going to make use of that opportunity for our career? In this episode, I am going to discuss about the career options available in the area of artificial intelligence and machine learning. It's called AI and ML. Before I go into the video, let me give you a few examples. You know, what do we do now? We want to book a ticket. We don't go to the um, ticketing counter. We don't even call a travel agent. We are able to book it from here. If it is going to rain or not, we don't have to go through the uh, you know weather report. Earlier, uh, the uh, uh, All India Radio or television channel will tell whether there is going to be rain or not. Now, what we say, hey Google, hey Alex, find out whether it is going to rain today. You know that type of a thing. Whatever information you want, you uh, get it on your fingertips. How is it possible? Right. So that is the fantastic area of artificial intelligence and machine learning. See, the term artificial intelligence, it itself says that the intelligence is not natural. Human beings have the natural intelligence. You know what we do? We invent missions. We used to write, we invented a machine called a typewriter. We can cook. We invented a machine called a cooker. Right? We can send letters. We invented a machine called a SMS generator. We can walk. We invented a machine called cycle. So artificial intelligence is simulating the intelligence in a machine and the machine works as though it is a human being. Simply put. So the term may also be applied to any mission that exhibits traits of a human being. This is the artificial intelligence mission learning. So you apply the artificial intelligence in mission learning. I'll give some examples. Earlier we used to depend on human beings to go and manufacture welding for example. Robots are available. If you want to connect telephone calls, robots are available. Right? So robots do not require rest. They do not require tea break. They don't require lunch break. Self-driving cars, maybe in about 10 years time you will be able to see. Already it is there in some place, being tested. See after all, what do you do as a driver? You keep a watch on the road, what is the bumper to bumper distance between the car which is going in front of you, you apply brake, you look at the sides left and the right and then you navigate through the uh, traffic, that is fed to the car and the car knows where to stop, where to speed up, everything the car knows. Now. The day is not far away. Already it is being tested actually. A driverless car. You get into the car and program the car. The way you want to reach your office. It takes you to the office. And then it goes back home. And again you program. So that it picks up your uh, wife to her office. Picks up uh, your children. And uh, drops them in the school. Then you program. Around the lunch time, it will come back with their lunch basket to you. In fact, there are instances where the car can be used as a taxi between 9 o'clock and 4 o'clock or 5 o'clock. Very highly intelligent because how? Artificial intelligence and machine learning. 
you have smart assistants like Siri, like um, uh, Google. You can, it can book appointments for you. It can store information and give it to you when you want it. It can remind you there is an appointment at this time, 5 minutes before, 10 minutes before it will remind you. Automated financial investment. Now when you have an internet transfer of money, you can program it every month on the payday. It will pay your telephone bills, it will pay your water tax, it will pay your electric charges. Or you can even program it in such a way when the census reaches a particular uh, 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 point, it will automatically transfer money to a mutual fund of your choice. I mentioned to you already, your uh, smartphone can be your travel booking agent. Another important area is social media monitoring. You know what happens these days after Uber or any taxi uh, provider, if he drops you uh, in your place, he will ask you, sir, you will get a message, give me a rating, sir. Give me a five star rating, sir, if you are satisfied. And such information is stored and you can definitely find out which driver has got the highest rating. Similarly, if you want to find out the uh, credentials of a doctor, how credit worthy the doctor is, how popular the doctor is, how reliable the doctor is, you can find out the rating. Social media monitoring. Another major area is what is called natural language processing. Natural language processing. What is natural language processing? For example, email. In Google, you can program it in such a way that it will automatically divide your emails into primary social and promotions. Automatically, you don't have to search through hundreds of emails. Automatically, it will divide. I mentioned to you already Siri and um, um, Amazon's Alexa. right? Search results. In Google, when you are searching for some information, it will not even wait till you complete that uh, search. It will understand what is it you want to know and give you some ideas. Predictive text, auto-correct, auto-edit, right? When you are typing a word, it will ask you, do you want this? If you make a mistake, it will correct you. This is also a branch of natural language processing. Language translation. No, these days it's very easy to translate what you speak. Automatically it will translate into whatever language you want. Digital phone calls. I don't know. Recently I was uh, watching a, a presentation by Sundar Pichai of Google. The Google assistant, supposing you want to uh, fix an appointment with a dentist, it will ask you which day you want and which time you want. And as you are giving a date and time, actually the Google Assistant is checking with the uh, dentist about the timing and automatically it will tell you, yes, 10 o'clock appointment this Sunday it is fixed. You know, amazing. All these things are because of artificial intelligence and machine learning. It is uh, a branch in the IT sector which is growing very, very fast. I did a basic research for you and I'll give you some facts. But after listening to this, you yourself go through the uh, various uh, search engines and come to your own conclusion which university. But I'll give you some example. Postgraduate program in artificial intelligence and machine learning at Purdue University. This is one area you can think of. Advanced program in artificial intelligence powered marketing from IM Calcutta. PhD diploma in artificial intelligence by Riva University. PhD diploma in artificial intelligence by Pearson and edX. Advanced certification program in artificial intelligence and machine learning from Talent Sprint IIIT Hyderabad. Postgraduate program in artificial intelligence and machine learning from Bits Pilani. Postgraduate program in artificial intelligence 
by great learning. So th these are some of the examples I was able to get it. You can of course do a original research. Some students ask me whether they can go for artificial intelligence after 12th. Of course, only after 12th you can go. But then you have a choice. Either you can go for a graduation, let's say uh, BSc Physics and then MSc Physics and then go for artificial intelligence. Or you can choose an engineering degree and then take artificial intelligence as a career. But ultimately you need a basic degree, either a basic science degree or an engineering degree. In fact, for some of the higher positions in artificial intelligence, a PhD also will be useful. Some students ask me, can I do artificial intelligence after BSc? Yes, you can do that. You can do BSc, you can do MSc as I said already. And then choose. But what is required is mathematics. So this is very, very important. In fact, in CBSE, at the 10th level, uh, students are given a choice to take an easy maths or a difficult math, that is standard maths or basic maths. And students start disliking mathematics and try to avoid mathematics. But maths cannot be avoided. The higher up you go, maths has got a daily application. So BSc, you can have physics and then you can choose your course. But minimum 55% mark is required and some universities are very clear about a strong foundation in mathematics. And what are the uh, degrees you can pursue? B.Tech in computer science, B.Tech in automation and robotics you can do, B.Tech in electronic engineering, B.Tech in Electrical Engineering, some of the undergraduate uh, programs. B.Sc. Computer Science, Bachelor of Computer Science, Master of Computer Science, plenty. But one thing let me tell you, you don't have to be an engineer to pursue artificial intelligence. You can do graduation, you can do B.Sc. Physics, you can do M.Sc. Physics, then you can branch off or you can do Bachelor of uh, uh, Computer Science or master of computer science you can do that and pursue amazing opportunities are there at the end of this episode let me tell you one thing the world is becoming very different day by day lot of opportunities are there you do a original research on artificial intelligence this is the time because most of you are going through uh, the pandemic uh, uh, holiday actually i would say Choose your good career. If you are not subscribed to this channel, please do subscribe so that you get your updates. There is a comment box underneath. Please post your comments. I will try to answer your queries. All the best. See you in my next episode with one more branch of study. All the best. SRM TV is not just a school. It's a one-time experience. William Nagar, Tirvalur.